Hi everybody, today is 18th of May 2023, it's 8.08 p.m. It's 72 degrees and it's beautiful sunset today. So, uh, today I hope every single senior is really, really, really is uh, out of school because... Because it's summertime, uh, because it's summertime, um, you know, almost. And I want to say that, uh, I want to say that you, yesterday I said an amazing prayer in the baccalaureate. Baccalaureate is a, uh, an event uh, before the graduation ceremony that uh, it's usually, uh, usually is spiritual and it really, um, and Jesus uh, says that uh, we should say uh, that we should say uh, something to our graduates to have a very successful life. Were they in front of their? Uh, where are they in front of their now? So today we are going to talk about about being honest. Always being honest. You know, we usually. Um, we usually, uh, we usually doing that. We usually, uh, we usually, uh, being honest is, uh, is opposite of, uh, um, of lying to, uh, some people. And lying is a, uh, uh, and lying is a sin because telling the truth is better than lying. And when somebody's lying, everybody gets frustrated, everybody gets disappointed on you. So I want to talk to you about being honest. Being honest is uh, about not just telling the truth, but uh, but telling uh, but telling the real thing about what happened in the situation. So, uh, you know, so for instance, that telling the truth is very important because you're getting yourself a successful uh, uh, a successful relationship and. Uh, a successful response from the other person. When you are not honest, when you are lying to some uh, some people, nobody wants liars in the world. But some, uh, you know, some people, you know, some uh, some people really, uh, some people really are not watching their language and they not watching what they say. So always being honest means that. You, yeah, that means you, uh, that means, uh, not exactly you sometimes promising what you want to do, but being honest about something. Honesty is, um, mm, honesty, uh, honesty and telling the truth is kind of not the same because, uh, being honest that, uh, for example, you, somebody lost five dollars or somebody lost, mm, uh, somebody lost uh, uh, twenty dollars, and you have to, uh, and you have to, uh, and you ha you're not giving yourself the the money that you already that or you already picked it up because that was somebody's money. And I had this situation uh, at school when I, I was at school, like I don't know in the uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know which day of school what is, but in the in the school year, I I I um uh, I found ten dollars in the hallway, and uh, I took it to uh, I uh, took it to the office, and that was an honest uh, thing uh, to do to be honest. So that's the you know, so being honest is a positive thing. And so uh, we should be doing that. We should be honest with our friends. We should be honest with our family, and we should be honest with other people surrounding, uh, surrounding us, and sur uh, and being honest with God because Jesus really likes honesty. When you are honest, you are uh, you are being kind to other people, and uh, you are showing the support. Of the uh, of your friends and yourself, and you are not causing problems to uh, to yourself, and you're not causing problems to your friends because because you are not lying to yourself. You're not lying to 
uh, your friends, you're not lying to your family, you're just being, uh, you're just being truthful and trustful and being honest. So this is the very important thing to be honest. Telling the truth, telling the honest truth, it's always a good way to fix a problem. Not, not with the lying thing. Not with the lying thing. First John chapter uh, 3, 18 says, Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and with truth. So, what is First John? Uh, uh, First John chapter three eighteen is trying to say. So, uh, so the thing is, uh, so the thing is uh, that children are supposed uh, should be honest. Everybody should be honest because honesty is going in a good ways, in a very light ways, and is going in a good ways that everybody is going to be uh, be liking you. Everybody is going to be supporting you, except uh, liars, because liars, liars cannot be trusted. They are, cannot be trusted. They are spams, they are manipulations about, and there are manipulations about this, and, uh, all those uh, other stuff. You cannot trust liars. You cannot trust liars because usually uh, lying is not a good response uh, to your friend or to your member of the family because especially when you're lying to your parents is causing you trouble and you having some consequences that you have to face it. So you do not, you do not so you do not want to lie. You want to, you want to cause yourself a success, cause somebody a success, because, so everybody can be with you. Everybody can be tr uh, can trust you, and everybody can uh, can support you as a good person, as a good friend, and as a good. Mm, as a uh, as you as a good deal. So uh, let us not love with words and speech because words can be hurtful sometimes. Sometimes calling names, uh, usually calling names, is not a positive thing because that is not fixing a problem. By call by calling names on somebody that you are this, that you are that, that you are that. That's a hate speech. You you don't wanna you don't wanna listen to somebody who who uh, who is lying to you and who is trying to tell you the truth by uh, by telling you uh, by calling you names. You are this. You are nothing, and all that stuff. Sometimes people are doing that, and, and this is really irritating. You know, this is really irritating because usually people li uh, like being truthful. Be, like to be honest because because usually because usually people really hate liars and that's what is Satan uh, is Satan it is he is a liar he is a destroyer and he's a killer he's just a pure liar that you cannot trust him and and he is the devil so uh, that is a mm, uh, bad thing to lie to somebody. Proverbs chapter 11, uh, 11 3 says, The integrity of the upright guides them, but the unfaithful are destroyed by their duplicity. So, this is kind of complicated because, uh, because usually uh, people uh, like to be honest about everything. Sometimes we don't do that. Sometimes, uh, sometimes we say what we shouldn't say. It. Sometimes we, sometimes we slip over a little bit, and uh, but you know what? We have to think with our brains what we want to say to make sense uh, for those people who can understand us, for those people who can trust us, and for those people who can. Uh, have a deal with us. Have a uh, have a deal with us that they can be honest with you and they can be trustful with you. So you don't want to. So you don't want to tell some kind of a imaginary stuff that they just coming to your head 
because that is just uh, because that is just what you uh, what you're saying uh, otherwise uh, are nonsense and uh, just a pure stupidity you don't wanna you, uh, you don't wanna embarrass yourself in front of your friends and in front of your uh, in, fr in front of your family because it's just not necessary you uh, telling the truth is more uh, mm, telling the truth is more uh, is better than uh, lying and uh, and you know manipulating yourself that uh, and really criticizing yourself. Pro uh, Proverbs chapter twenty one verse three says to do what what is right and just is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. So we are do uh, we are trying to do things what are right, you know. We are trying to do things what are right, but sometimes, sometimes there are some things that we do not do right. We are getting frustrated. We are getting disappointed and say, "Ah, I'm cursing ourselves." That is not that is not a response to other uh, to uh, to another thing, and this is a negative response to you know, to think that you scream at yourself, that you are talking to yourself. Don't do that. That you are that you know that you are really cursing yourself, which you don't need to do that. Which is um, which is not which is you're laughing, making fun of yourself, and that is not a good thing. That is not a good thing because people who are doing that are usually they are uh, some uh, they are you know usually gotta you know <laughs> uh, you know today what is more acceptable so so we are we are trying to do uh, do we are trying doing stuff what is really acceptable to us and to our uh, to our Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes people do not do acceptable stuff. Some, uh, sometimes people do unacceptable stuff, like uh, lying and uh, and uh, fighting and uh, and you know. Usually, usually, I will tell you what. Usually, when the parents are abusing their children, they have bad relationships without uh, with other people because those people who were who were bad treated they don't have any good lives they don't they don't live uh, they, they are trying to they are trying to live in Christ but those people who are treated badly poorly you know those people need God those people need Jesus, and I tell you right now that your kids are not pinatas, they are not drum sets. There are you, your human beings, that you are raising them, that you're raising them to be good people. You know, you parents are not living forever in this world, and I'm telling you that when you, when you get to heaven, there is gonna be, there is gonna be no such as like, like pain, like crying, like, uh, like something like this. Because Satan is gonna defeat, be defeated before the final judgment. That's what it says in the book of Revelation. How uh, uh, when you gonna, we gonna uh, talk about the book of Revelation, then we gonna. Uh, then we're gonna really say about uh, about really talk about how the defeat of Satan was really about. I know that story, you know, and you know, I'm preaching the book of Revelation, but now I'm preaching about being honest. Am I right? Yes, I am right. So the thing is about being honest with you know, with other people is to keep promises, keeping promises. Sometimes people. Sometimes people don't, uh, you know. Sometimes people uh, usually don't do that because they don't, because they don't realize. Oh, I promised something and now I didn't do that. So uh, those people are kind of a uh, kind of those other people are really frustrated with you because you didn't do what you promised. You didn't listen to those people. 
And that is what is pe people most irritating because, because you saying something which you want to do, and then you don't, uh, and then you're not doing it because you just, uh, you just put this promise to the trash and, and those people are not, you know, tr uh, uh, you cannot trust those people. You know, the most important thing about trusting people is about, is about the word of honor. It's about the word of honor. So the word of honor is always being honest. Being, uh, the word of honor is always being honest because somebody would trust you if you're being honest. Somebody is lying to you is not the word of honor because liar is be and lying all the time is that person is nothing. You know, you know, Jesus loves billions of people. Jesus, Jesus loves billions of people, but they are not doing negative stuff. They are not doing doing negative things. They are. They are not worried too much. And this is what is going on in the world. There everybody has some excuses. First John chapter 1 verse 6 says, If we climb to have fellowship with him, and yet walk in the darkness, we lie and do not, do not live without truth. What did I say before? The first John chapter one verse six is a very important thing is about telling the truth. It's about telling the truth, avoiding lies. Avoiding lies, and this is really important. You know, if you have a fellowship with Jesus, you cannot do bad stuff. You cannot say, uh, you know, uh, you, uh, you cannot say, uh, uh, turn out, uh, uh, let's turn out to be a, a killer, but you are a Christian. That doesn't work. If it, 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 and the Ten Commandments says, if you believe in Jesus, do not murder, do not kill. You're going to hell. Uh, you're going to hell. Because Satan is a, uh, is a killer, not you. And this is what is. And this is what is really, this is what is really people do not understand about this. Romans chapter 13 verse 7 says, Give to everyone you, what you owe them. If you own taxes, you pay taxes. If you renew the review, if you respect, uh, if respect, then respect. If honor, then honor. So those are, so those are those five Different things that we supposed to be working on. Paying taxes, having the word of honor, and being honest with each other. You know, being honest with each other is another thing about friendship. Being honest with each other. If you don't, uh, if you couldn't, if you couldn't come and you were supposed to come, uh, come uh, to me, Jeff, text me and we are good. But when you don't, but when when you don't text me and when you don't uh, uh, when you don't uh, call me and I don't know where you are, then why why are you friends with me? That is a question that you that you should uh, that you should ask some uh, some people who you hardly trust. You know, I'm trusting my fr my own friends. I'm trusting my own. I'm trusting my own family. I'm tra uh, I'm tr you trusting your own friends. You're trusting your own family. You're trusting your own people in the world, and those other people do not give a head about it because they're too lazy to do everything. You know, that is really irritating for other people because usually you have to be a good listener to other people and this is a, this is 
uh, some, uh, some, for some people, this is really hard to understand to be a good listener. And then when somebody's saying something, everybody's laughing. Woo! Make any sense of comedy about this. You know, <sighs> criticizing people is not a good thing to do. Commenting other people's uh, sentences is not a good thing to do. Being honest is a good thing to do because your friends are your friends. Your family is your family. And when you don't like it, why even you live it? Sorry to say that, but this is really important for you. Matthew chapter 5 verse 8 says, Blessed are the poor in heart, pure in heart, they will see God. So those people who are having pure heart to other people, and those people who are pure, you're having pure heart to God, they will see God. You know, I'm using this, those four, uh, four, Mm, those are those four words. God, 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 God. Second Timothy chapter two sixteen says, "Do your best to present your to, uh, yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, who, who, uh, and who correctly handles the word of truth." So this is really important, my friends, and this is what you're supposed to really know how to really believe in other people. Proverbs chapter 2, 9 says that you will understand what is right and just and fair, every good path. Being a good path that means not lying, being friendly to other people, being kind to other people, and not making a stand-up comedy uh, after every a single sentence what people are saying. Because that is just because that is just making fun of people of their conversation. That is not uh, uh, that is not a good thing to make a fun of people when they're having a conversation. Because that could uh, 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 unless it's very a funny conversation, but but when it's a very serious conversation, then <laughs> it's not appropriate. It's not appropriate for other people uh, to laugh in certain conversations because uh, in some conversation you have to be very serious about it. That is not a joke. I had a girl in class with uh, with a very huge problem uh, when I was in Seneca High School, and and she, uh, and she I I don't we I were I was really understanding her problem, but she was laughing at me after every single sentence, and I said. Stop laughing me every single sentence because that is not funny what just what did I did I just said that is not a comedy. You know, but in other words, when people have problems uh, problems like this or spectral autistic or uh, or other kinds of stuff, you should be understandful with those people and accept those people as their friends. You're not supposed to make fun of those people because they look like oh! They don't look like like you. That is not fair. That is not my. That is not fair to you and to other people who has the, those kind of stuff, who has those kind of disabilities, because it's serious. It's a very serious thing that somebody has a disability, and you cannot not you cannot make fun of it. You cannot make fun of it because Jesus. Because Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. And he doesn't laugh at you. <laughs> he doesn't do that. He loves those people. He loves you. He loves those people who are in Christ. Who 
are in Christ, you cannot laugh on somebody who, who you cannot laugh on somebody what is not a joke. You cannot comment every single sentence. You cannot laugh at every after every single sentence. Oh, he said that. Woo! Let's make a comedy about this because whoa. Those people are very rude that the people do not the people are teasing other people because they think they are better than them. And that is not fair. You know, talking about being fair, it's very important. It's very respectful to other people that you are fair to other people. Being disrespectful to other people is laughing and teasing other people and laughing every single sentence. Let me see comedy about this. You are going through this fallen world very fast, and when Jesus is gonna return, I'm telling you that is gonna that is not gonna be a joke. Everybody is gonna be so serious because they're gonna see God, and and those uh, those people who are gonna be judged by God, they are not gonna be laughing. So think, so think about what you doing. In this world, in your life, how you res uh, how you respond to other people, how do you respond to your friends? Because just you know, just laying down and staring at the wall, no nothing is gonna help you. Just doing that, please. Seriously, just get up. Get some, get some coffee ready, read the Bible, and meet some friends and have a positive conversation. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for this wonderful uh, sermon, what we talked about, and I really thank you for uh, being an honesty thing. Uh, thank you for for being uh, so much generation for me, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and hit the like button. And I will see you on Monday. Shockers out.